guys, Christina here, and as I'm taping right now, it is Halloween, or was, it's actually pretty late. So I decided to do this video over holidays in Japan. My time is kind of running short because I have to pack for Tokyo. It's complex. And yes, I will be wearing this makeup during the video. It's really messed up right now, but I swear it was cooler earlier. Number one, Setsubun. Setsubun is a festival holiday celebrated in Japan on February the 3rd or 4th. Um, one day before the start of spring or their start of spring. So, you know, everything's really pretty. For a while, Japanese people have been performing rituals with the purpose of cleansing the demons or evil spirits out of their house and their life at the beginning of spring. And it started around the 13th century to drive the evil spirits away with the strong smell of burning <laughs> dried sardine heads. That just probably smelled so good. Don't worry, I, I, they don't really do that now. <laughs> but um, a few people still decorate their house with fish heads to what I understand. I haven't gone through spring yet, so I don't know how that goes, but I'll let you guys know. Um, but in modern days, a common ritual of setsubun is um, throwing beans at people. Now, before you go like, why do they throw beans at people? It's basically the same thing as burning fish heads, except not as stinky and a little more fun. I mean, I'm sure burning fish heads is just somebody's cup of tea. What people usually do, they throw beans around the perimeter and they say, Oni wa soto, fuku wa uchi, which means, roughly means, evil out, good luck in, roughly. <laughs> Setsubun is really famous among all of the shrines in Japan, and it is really, really, really commonly, like, people talk about it now, and it's, it's October. Overall, there are many variations of Setsubun depending on where you are in Japan, but I would encourage you to look it up anyway, just be like, oh, how did they celebrate it here? How did they celebrate it there? Just be curious. This is in no particular order, I am so sorry. Number two, White Day. Okay, so usually in most of the countries that I've heard about, um, you have Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day wasn't native to Japan, obviously, but when it did come to Japan, it was a big hit, and because of Valentine's Day, they made White Day. White Day is when, let's say, on Valentine's Day, this girl gives her crush a bag of chocolates or something like, oh, I kind of like you. She gives her crush something like that. Then that person has until White Day to um, figure out what they are going to give back to that person as a response or just as a, just a bag of chocolates more than likely. <laughs> White Day is usually reserved for the guys. It is kind for the guys to kind of out, I don't want to say outdo, but to give back to the girl, especially if they like them, more than what they gave to them. One holiday that's coming up is number three, Culture Day. And I'm looking forward to that. That's actually tomorrow. And it says it's November 3rd, but my Sadobu club is doing it tomorrow because we have Yasumi or vacation. Monday and Tuesday, so we won't be able to celebrate it on November 3rd, so we're just going to celebrate it the 1st. So Culture Day, basically everybody promotes Japan's deep-rooted culture, so around this time Kyoto is very jam-packed because it's kind of the famous town for culture, like you go there to experience Japan's culture. And also on Culture Day, schools and even government organizations award some of their students or workers for, for special cultural achievements that they might have done earlier or later on in the year for Japan's culture to promote it. I think that's pretty cool. I love Japan's culture. It's just so 
deep rooted and it's so rich and it has history. I mean, it's old. <laughs> old as heck. Like the other day I visited a shrine that was at least like five times older than America, than the US. So, yeah, that was kind of, I kind of put everything into perspective. Number four, girls' holiday. I mean, girls gone wild in California. No, that's not it. I'm sorry. It's also known as Doll, the Dolls Festival, um, or Hina Matsuri. What happens on this day is that um, parents and family put dolls around the house or just as decorations if they have a daughter or a younger daughter to wish them well. Um, wish their daughter a successful happy life by decorating the house with dolls. It kind of sounds like a horror movie. <laughs> this is actually a Chinese custom transferred to Japan and originally it was the dolls take in all the bad luck and then you you cast the dolls out usually next to a river and stuff but they don't do that here and usually on dolls festival day um, sweet sake is drunk and sushi is eaten forgot what type of sushi but sushi and sake number five the coming of age day this day in Japan celebrates this, well, it's more like two weeks at the beginning of the year is celebrating the men and women who have, you know, turned 20 because in Japan and in Japanese cultures, and in Japanese culture, they see 20 as an adult. You're an adult now, you're not a child, you're not anything else. Also, it has to do with you're 20 now, and in Japan, when you're 20, you can drink and smoke. And on this day, um, 20 year olds usually wear really nice stuff just to be like, oh yeah, I'm 20 now, I'm an adult. I'm going to talk a little about um, some of the American and Western holidays and how they have kind of bled into Japan. First of all, of course, Valentine's Day, but that's celebrated widely here. But some other holidays that aren't celebrated widely here is Halloween and Christmas. And if you think I'm missing Thanksgiving, that's not, because that's <laughs> exclusively for the USA. I've had actually people ask me that. So, no, Thanksgiving is just for the USA. I'm sorry. In Japan, they're starting to celebrate Halloween more and more. Obviously. Well, I'm a gaijin, so that kind of sums everything <laughs> up. But I just got back from a Halloween party. So, oh, and if anyone tells you that there are no parties in Japan, they didn't look hard enough. But in Tokyo, it's starting to be a bigger thing because Tokyo has a lot of foreigners. So foreigners are like, oh, let's celebrate Halloween. And then that kind of caught on and just snowballed. And now it's kind of everywhere. Like my friends and I, we had a Halloween party. We ate butt ton of snacks and I didn't feel good later. But it was so worth it. Christmas in Japan. I haven't gotten to experience Christmas yet, but I have done studying on it. I have studied it. And what they do is they eat KFC. And if you haven't heard of this yet, it started in the 1970s, I think 1972 or 4? Don't sue me if I'm wrong. It, it was Christmas and some foreigners came into KFC because they couldn't find turkey anywhere in their town so they just went to KFC bought a butt ton of chicken and KFC made a smart move and was like hey that could be a thing so they started a slogan and then it just became a cultural thing and now you have to book like a month in advance to make sure you get your KFC oh and New Year's Day I forgot to mention that because it's kind of an obvious one but a New Year's Day me and a lot of my friends do, and my family in general, <laughs> we usually have a party on New Year's Day, and we have all of our friends together, and we sit on the couch and we watch the countdown, and so we just sit down with like a bunch of friends, and I told my classmates that, because they asked about it, and, I'll, and they were kind of shocked, they were like, what? Because to them, usually a time for family, and not 
you know, a butt ton of friends sitting on the couch watching a ball bounce. Anyway, sorry, I kind of rambled during this video. I once again put it together five minutes before, if you couldn't tell. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, comments, or any tips, there's a comment section for that. And if you like this video, like it. Um, other than that, I think I'm done. Okay. Ciao,